dear friends, be very welcome to our new episode. Today I'm going to show you how to avoid eight common mistakes in photography. I have easy fixes for all and you'll have a super bonus tip if you stay till the end. So let's go to our new episode. A bad composition is generally one of the biggest mistakes that you could make. Besides the well-known rule of thirds, and there are many other that we could address on another episode if you like, so tell me that on the comment section, we should frame a scene in the most simplifying way possible. Being three, the magic number of subjects on your frame. Vertical orientation or horizontal should be used when your main elements are vertical or horizontal. Use leading lines to guide the viewer's eyes through the image. You should make those lines lead to what your main subject of your image is. Hold your camera the steadiest possible, straightening your elbows and arms and putting the camera close to your eyes as possible. Or use a tripod. This will help avoid a shaky image. So don't be lazy and have it with you if you love landscape or night photography, for instance. Change the full AF points to a single one, single one instead. I know that your camera has lots of those, but if you take full control of what exactly needs to be in focus, you have way more chances of getting a mega sharp picture. If you already shoot in manual, don't forget that many times it is preferable to move to aperture priority. The depth of fill is under your control, but other settings that are sometimes uh, way harder to fix on the go could be in auto. That way it helps a lot during run and gun shots. Street photography, spores and family shots are way better than that way. Always check your gear before getting out. Don't, don't rush things. Batteries need to be full and cards empty. Also, think uh, of what else you will need there. Things like a tripod, of course, filters, uh, even a microfiber cloth tend to be left at home if you rush things. So take it slowly. Ah, and have always a water bottle with you. Being hydrated is really, really important and could also uh, serve to other things. Before shutting off your camera, pull values like aperture, uh, ISO to normal. How many times you shoot something and then you realize that the, the ISO was at 1600 because last time you were shooting on indoors? Backup your files on an external hard drive and have at least one or two extra memory cards. We can fill it very clicky, quickly or they can be corrupted. So keep that in mind. Never think that you already master photography. Trust me, there are a million things that you and I don't know and perhaps will never know. So stay humble, research online and take courses, for example. Do whatever it takes to keep you better and better. And here's our bonus tip. Thank you for still be here with us. People tend to say that a good equipment is what it needs to 
get a great photo. Well, you couldn't be more wrong. Uh, that way, 150 years ago, people wouldn't be able to create masterpieces that we uh, see on today's. Of course, that uh, a good tool like a camera or lenses will ease your tasks. No doubt about it. Though, my, my advice is not to spend all your money just because others have this or a certain, a certain camera uh, is from the high-end tech. Get used to what you already have. A mobile phone, uh, a cheaper camera, uh, no matters. Skill the art of using it. Then, if you want to continue naturally, like it happened to me, uh, you will find uh, any sort of limitation on what drives or work. So, it's time to move to other gear, but only when you get there. And that's all for today, uh, real uh, dear friends. I hope that you've enjoyed our tip. Um, they are simple, but yeah, very effective. If you want more content like this, please tell us on the comment section. And please help us like by liking, subscribing, and sharing our channel to your friends. See you very soon and thank you for being here.